Okay. Hello. Well, part two, due to technical difficulties. I think we were chastising the Christians for not voting. So, I think that's where we'll take off here. And it's probably too late for that anyway. So, because you all know my feelings about this upcoming election. So, here we have, we have two prongs we're talking about, where the enemy is, is full force uh, coming against the church, God's people. You know, Chuck Misler was asked, you know, every time he has a meeting, he has a Q&A at the end, a question and answer session, and inevitably, one question always came up, why has God not judged America yet? He always started his answer off with the old Billy Graham soundbite from 20 years ago, if God doesn't if judge America, he'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, that's a nice soundbite, and uh, there's some truth there. But um, the final answer was it's because of our relationship with Israel. We've always supported Israel. Deuteronomy says, if you bless Israel, I'll bless you. If you don't, look out. Well, now, the one thing that has withheld God's judgment, we no longer have, because we have an administration that outwardly does not support Israel. May God help us. Do you know that on the, uh, <clears throat> Scripture talks about to watch Israel. It's the bud. It's, it's, it's the olive tree. Um, and so we saw back in 1967 that the olive tree, it grew four branches, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, the Golan Heights, and East Jerusalem. Well, it just wasn't only a few years ago that the United States was responsible for one of those leaves being cut off. It was the Gaza Strip. And when the last Jewish person was removed from the Gaza Strip within hours, a whirlwind was formed off the coast of America and just within 24 hours Hurricane Katrina came on land and completely wiped out a city in America not some little town a major city New Orleans was wiped off of the map and two states Louisiana and Mississippi were crippled beyond recognition thousands lost their lives that day and there's a glimpse, if you want to find out what's going to happen, if, if things go really bad, ambulances couldn't get in. There was no electricity. Cops did not respond. Looting took over right away. Mayhem. Uh, oh, boy. May God help us. Because it's all coming here in September 23rd. And now we've got the Pope coming. And the Pope even shocked half the Catholics this week with his climate uh, he, he jumped on board with Obama any surprises there on climate change well anybody who swallowed that pill you're living in a dream world because the whole global warming and I'm not going to get into that today but that was a control issue from the very beginning so they could take your land if there was a spotted owl, owl on it or if there was a, a grasshopper that had three legs they took a ranch that had been there for 200 years look out what they do globally so here we got September 23rd and the Pope is coming to meet Obama at the White House does that date sound familiar on the 24th the next day for the very first time the Pope is going to address the